For the role of Matt Brody, they considered a future Man of Steel. Dean Cain almost got the role it was of between uh, him and David, David Charvet. And he was adorable. He was really, you know, it came very close to being Dean Cain instead of David Charvet. The 20-year-old French-born Charvet got the role while Cain became TV's Superman. Professional surfer Kelly Slater also joined the cast, along with athletic actress Alexandra Paul and former Charles in Charge star Nicole Eggert. There were a couple of future stars who didn't make the cut. Nev Campbell and Sandra Bullock apparently didn't have what casting directors defined as the right look. One last role proved difficult to fill. No one was clicking for the new character of C.J. Parker. Orenstein and Glicksman then auditioned the girlfriend of actor David Charvet. Susie and I knew this was the girl. We, at least we did by the end of the... And uh, she canceled on us 11 times, okay? By the 11th, and we kept going into these auditions with these guys saying, guys, there's a girl you gotta see. The girl was 25-year-old Pamela Denise Anderson. Pamela came to Baywatch through an incredible series of events. In 1989, 22-year-old Anderson attended a football game in Vancouver, Canada. A TV cameraman who was looking for pretty girls in the crowd focused on Anderson and her image was flashed on the stadium's video screen. The crowd went wild. Pam was wearing a Labatt's beer t-shirt. The brewery signed her up for a series of ads and commercials, which caught the attention of Playboy magazine. The resulting pictorial led to a recurring role as the Tool Time Girl on the sitcom Home Improvement. Finally, in the spring of 1992, Pamela showed up at the Baywatch production offices. This time, however, it was the producers playing hard to get. She missed an appointment, and I said, listen, Susie Fern, we don't need that. She's, you know, blonde. How many blondes do we have in the waiting room? And they said, no, 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 this girl is special. And Doug and Michael were kind of, eh, about it, and, and they said, you can't let this girl walk out of the room. She was very bubbly and sweet and adorable and... Honestly, she was the girl. It was, it was just, you knew it. David Hasselhoff, however, expressed serious misgivings. I had reservations, always, and I'll go on record, and I have been on record, as saying anybody who was in Playboy. I just bothered me. I, we didn't need that. David was always the voice of, my kids have to watch this show. You know, and we were always the voice of, true, but men have to watch this show as well, and women, you know, adults have to watch this show, and sex sells. Hasselhoff relented, and Pamela was cast as lifeguard C.J.